Let's go. We got a video. This video is about Eon Robot. It's developed by Hexagon Robotics. I even heard that they're using NVIDIA's technology. So we go check this robot out, see how his development is coming along, and then go from there, like we always do. All right, let's go. Let's lock in. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. We got another video. That's just like the introduction of it. Let's go. It's time for Eon. Agile. Versatile. Aware. Agility. To work with dynamic precision. I wonder what was their thought process when they say, hey, we're going to make this super intelligent robot, but it's going to walk using something like wheels that you can skate on. I wonder, because I'm trying to figure out how this is going to be in the home. I don't know. Let's keep watching. Versatility learned through experience in real time. Awareness through spatial intelligence to sense, recognize, and take action. It's time. Let's get to work. Eon. See, it might just be a, a, um, a robot that's working in a warehouse. Because it is super intelligent, especially using NVIDIA's technology. We're going to learn more about the robot right now. But with those wheels, I just don't see it being in a home. It can work. If you got like hardwood floors, but I don't see it. The pitch black room playing a game of hide and seek, Eon would definitely win. We teach our robots to perform certain tasks and we generally use two different approaches. Reinforcement learning, where we let the robot learn walking through trial and error. So it can come up with any solution to this given task, like balancing. And then there's imitation learning, we show the robot, for example, how to grab a cop. So we show it based on human data how a certain task can be achieved. So it really imitates how a human would move. Examples of special intelligence. Let's say you want to grab a, a cop, kind of see roughly where the glass is, and then you just feel around to pick up the glass. It is much more efficient if you don't have to open. See, so they, they are talking about picking up a cup or picking up a glass, so it's a possibility that is still being developed for a home maybe they're going to have um some way for another type of robot just like it with just legs and or have the ability to be able to walk let's look at where you're grasping meaning also you can do multiple things at the same time M many of these things are done also using deep learning teaching the robot what distance means the biggest difficulty for the robot to be able to transfer the learning from simulation to reality is the sim to real gap. Like one day the floor might be rough, the next day the floor is slippery. So we cannot always guarantee the exact same boundary conditions. What we're trying to do is have the robot learn from just a few examples by itself. It is basically dreaming 
about what are all the situations that we could encounter. It's really interesting. We are so flexibly and flat organized, it really helped. I wonder if it's easier to build these robots. They have legs with the wheels instead of actually walking um, because as we just seen through the test, they're trying to work on balancing and all that, those kind of things. But then on the other end, I'm like, man, I got hardwood floors. I don't know if I want this to mess up my floors, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm still up in the air. It's a cool robot. Obviously, look at it. It's a cool robot, and I'm pretty sure it has a lot of um, AI in it and really quickly trying out new features. We had six iterations in two and a half years, and this really has made Ian to what he can do today. We are using cutting edge technologies. In this project, we want to really explore everything that there is and go further than that of humanoid robotics. I mean, it, it definitely seems cool. I'm still, I still got to learn more about it. It's a pretty new robot that um, I'm just getting to know. So I don't know too much about it, but um, if it does have NVIDIA's technology, then it's going to be super smart. Everybody try to purchase that tech. If they can afford it, they try to purchase it. But um, just that alone, having NVIDIA's tech, and having hands and fingers can be able to do so much. I'm the only thing that I'm questioning is the legs with the wheels, um, because how are you going to try to get it out the house? Say, for instance, you say, "Hey, I want to go to the store. I want you to go to the store." I mean, is it going to be able to jump out the house? I just think about those kind of things because a lot of times I'm like, all right, I might want this robot to be able to do something that I can't do. So if I don't have time to be able to go to the store, to the supermarket, hey, can you go and deal with this shopping list so I don't have to do it? So I will want to know how are they going to handle those parts to the robots? Because the hands are good. You're probably going to be able to make anything in the kitchen because you have the AI. You're probably going to be able to complete a bunch of tasks in the house because you have the AI. But when it comes down to doing tasks about leaving the home, then, I mean, will I have to carry you out? But other than that, um, it seems like a good and effective robot. We're going to keep checking them out, though, to see how the development, you know, keep moving and progresses. All right, guys. Until next time.